his toe gets ready to meet leather. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Okay, ready. On first down, it's Cunningham. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. The four-time Pro Bowler Herman Moore is first grab of the game. Led the league in receptions twice. And just think about, he was the game plan when you had to line up against Detroit. Circle him, find a way to stop him, and rarely did teams get that done. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. A play fake. Now Cunningham. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by nine-time Pro Bowler Ed Reed. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away in the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position, and to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. So after the INT, it's Brady. Crossing run catch made by Johnson. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They'll run with a big back, A.J. Dillon. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A.J. Dillon, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point try good by Godot. And that makes the score 7-0. ready for the kickoff and here we go it's in the air fielded just outside the goal line and he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. the offense now at the line ready for their next drive they had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. A starting drive number two off on the right foot. Completion for the first down. Drive one is the, that had to be pretty frustrating because they moved the football. They just didn't get any points out of it. But warm up QB two, let's bring in the backup. I mean, my goodness, you take him down, you don't score. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Randy Moss. 62 yards. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. For the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Deion Sanders. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Brandon, I'm not going to tell him that you called him old in our pregame meeting, but this guy has been around a long time. There's a trick in the book. He knows it. He probably even wrote a few chapters, and this is what he's always had, and that's a nose for the football. He's able to come away here with the interception. And he's going to get this down near the 25. 
just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Now Cunningham. That swung out wide to Sanders. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him? Looking for Sanders, and it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Bucs are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far. And they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play would be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That one good for 37 yards. These two teams all tied after one. From midfield, here's Brady. He's got it complete to Gronkowski. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Nice rhythm fill there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off, and they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. When he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Cunningham to throw. That's going to be caught by Moss. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. On first and ten, it's Sanders. Up from the secondary to make the tackle, Jalen Ramsey. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane that could really break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Cunningham. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. On first and 10, Cunningham. He finds his man complete. It's Gonzalez. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space, kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Cunningham looking to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Leon Sandcastle. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for Buccaneer TD.
So from one end zone all the way to the other. Talk about a turnaround. And how about the excitement that that play generates for his team? Not just the points on the board, but the momentum and taking it from coast to coast, end zone to end zone. What a tremendous play. Now get that man an oxygen tank. <laughs> That's your boy, Old Mo. You said momentum, right? Old Mo, he, I think he's kind of limping across at the end because of that distance, but he made it. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Sauce Gardner picks it off. Well, C.D., you know, when you mentioned earlier about spreading the ball around in this game, I don't think you mentioned the guys in the other uniform. With four interceptions here in the first half, and several different guys have picked him off. Yeah, and instead of analyzing what's going wrong with him, throwing the football, why don't we look at the defense? They came in prepared. An excellent game plan, well scouted, and they're taking it away at almost every turn. Second and five now, Brady. And that is incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. On third down, here's Dillon. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Again, it's Dylan. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. On second and 11 now, Brady. And this is going to be intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let He's got a man complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Now Cunningham. He's going to look deep for more. Touchdown. Carmen Moore in the final seconds of the first half. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. 
but for the guys covering it, is being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. On first and ten, here's Brady. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and ten just outside the 30. From the gun, it's Dillon. There's a nice move. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And the reception made over the middle. This is Bolden. And the Bucs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Brady going to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Oh, that's good decision-making right there. Understood down and distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. Second down and goal. Brady. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Rifles one complete into the hands of Gronkowski. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. They get the completion, but cannot push forward into the end zone. And as a result, possession switches hands. Now a first down throw, Cunningham. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I'm trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball, but he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. Yes. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up.